Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. I hope that you are having an excellent day today. Now, I wanna share with you my review of Vengeance Road by Erin Bowman. So, this is the cover of the book, and it is simply just stunning. Uh, it, I cannot believe how gorgeous this book is. It's what attracted to me in the first place, and I love that it has the uneven uh, edges. I love books like that. And then it has like a little orange in it, and it has a texturized brown front underneath the the cover and I think it's very fitting for this book. So Vengeance Road is set during the gold rush in the 1840s in America and it is set specifically in the state of Arizona near the superstitious mountains. The book is about a young woman named Kate Thompson. She's the only daughter of Ross and Maria Thompson and we find out through flashbacks that her mother died when she was six and the book opens up actually with her coming home to her homestead and her father to finding her father hanging from a, a tree with a rose carved into his forehead and that lets her know that the outlaw Waylon Rose and his riders were there and she decides she's gonna grab her Winchester and some clothes to make her dress like a guy so she can be in disguise and travel safely as she can and she decides to go after them and she's able to catch up with at least one of them and ends up having having a conversation with them where it gives her some kind of thoughts of confusion a little bit about her father because he seemed like he knew him, uh, the uh, writer did, and she ends up uh, killing him and after that she decides that she's going to honor a uh, request that her father had made basically her entire life is that if anything happens to him that she's to go to his longtime friend Abe in Wickenburg and he would take care of her and tell her what she needs to know basically. When she arrives in Wickenburg she decides that she's continue to be a boy so that she can go on her way um, after she she does whatever she needs to do with Abe but once she gets at his property she finds out from his two sons Will and Jesse that he, Abe is actually dead and that there is a letter that has been left by her father for her and she reads it finds out that her whole life her father's been keeping a secret from her which is that his name is not uh, Henry Thompson but Ross Henry Tompkins and him and her mother had found gold after finding a journal off of a dead man and they had stolen some of the gold and had hidden their journal and basically went to go try and live a quiet life because at this time in this particular area which is Prescott the um, caches were drying up for the gold and so they were trying to at least live modestly but be able to survive and so she goes ahead and makes the decision that she is not going to let this affect her. She's going to continue to be Kate Thompson and she's going to avenge her father. So what she does is she pursues her road of vengeance against Waylon and his riders and along the way she gets Will and Jesse that tag along with her along with an Apache woman that she saves and she has two confrontations with Waylon. She also uh, witnesses a death of one of the main characters and also gets uh, spiritually, I guess, blessed uh, with some things that had happened by visiting the Apache Woman's tribe and it's just a really good story. I really like it. My overall thoughts are that I really like Vengeance Road. It's a really well written book. I didn't have any parts of the book that I didn't like. The plot was really well done. The world building was like a movie in my head. I love westerns when they create a movie in my mind because otherwise I just want to DNF them because they're so boring. Um, I liked how it wasn't so tropey with the Indians in this western because a lot of westerns really do have some very um, I feel like backwater or whatever you want to call it uh, stereotypes for Indians this one did not it was very respectful and I enjoyed it that way and I also really liked how Kate was able to still uh, maintain her vengeance road while also finding a blooming uh, love with Jesse and she finds out more about herself which is what I love she grows so much as a character throughout this entire book you're not thinking oh my gosh you're such a spoiled brat you're actually thinking yes yes this is what I want out of a main character 
I love that she doesn't depend on Jesse once she realizes she likes him. She's a stronghold. I like how the confrontations are very realistic. They weren't like a Western stereotype of like, ooh, she's, in she's invincible. No, she is a very good character. The only downside that I would see to this book is if someone does not enjoy first person and when an author is trying to be as authentic to the character, which is where uh, where you're reading it, you're reading it in their accent, their tone, and that can be difficult if you're not used to that, especially if you're not used to Westerns in general. Like, um, I'm in the Bible Belt in Tennessee, so country Westernist type things are very common, so it's not too much for me to uh, be reading something like that but if you're not like if you don't like that then you're not going to enjoy this because the entire book's written that way no one has a different tone of voice or um, any kind of accent it's straight up her accent and her speech pattern I feel is very true to what it would have been back in the 1840s for a girl that has not a girl but a woman who has no uh, formal education just what her father taught her because she mentions in the book that she didn't attend school because it wasn't built till she was 12 and by then everything she needed to know about su successfully surviving um, she already knew about so and she didn't think she would ever need that kind of schooling for what her family did for a living so yeah but I really enjoyed this book it's a great book I gave it four out of five stars I will be reading the second book which is our uh, retribution trails so you'll be getting a follow-up video to this I do believe that it is only a duology so there isn't any other books she hasn't said anything on her Twitter as of my knowledge but um yeah so I hope you enjoyed this review let me know down below if you're gonna pick up this book or if you're going to not read it just let me know down below or if you have a good Western in mind let me know down below I can pick that up too and check it out myself. You have a great day and bye!